skin an animal and he pulled the skin back when they skin an animal. An animal. This is not what God did. God came down and shh, 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 and with his knife, boom, he brought a sacrificial lamb and he laid it on the altar and cut the skin off of that lamb and he took the clothes off of that skin which had blood dripping all over it and he put it on Adam and Eve. And he clothed them for war. It wasn't anything else. The blood is on you so that you can execute what God has for you. Not what you want, but what God created for you. So we ought to be humbled by the blood. And most of us think, well, that's for me to get to heaven. It's not for you just to get to heaven. The blood is on you so that you can go out and execute the assignments that God has given you. No matter what you were born with or what you were born not with, you have to understand that God has given you the blood of Jesus, which makes you righteous all over again. And when you are righteous, grace is on you. That means you have the ability to flow where God wants you to flow. And there are no excuses. What you can think, you can do. Are you with me today? So all of us have to stop and think, you know, what have I been clothed with all of this time? Most of us make pretty moves and, you know, when we go into particular territories, we're careful where we go. We want to make sure that nobody sees us or, you know, or we try to be so humble. And you're humbling yourself to what? Preacher told me one time, he said, never humble yourself to man. Always humble yourself before God. I appreciate man, but we don't humble ourselves to men. We humble ourselves before God. Are y'all with me today? Okay, we will honor men, but we won't humble ourselves to the place where, you know, if it's not what man wants us to do, what God wants us to do, we're not going to do it. Are are y'all with me today? We walk in that particular truth. And as, 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 as agents of righteousness and agents of truth, then we have to go out and we have to give back what's righteous in the earth. So God has children in the earth just like Jesus came. And that was symbolic. What he did with Adam and Eve was symbolic of Jesus coming and clothing us in the blood. If you remember when Jesus came and Jesus had rose from the grave and they went to touch him, he said, no, don't touch me. For what reason? He said, I haven't ascended to my father yet. In other words, I have to present the blood before the altar. And when he rose, he presented the blood. Now, I want you to understand the principle of the blood. The life of any man is in the blood. The life is in the blood. So, if you have exchanged your life, like Adam and Eve, and been clothed with the blood of Jesus, death has no authority over you. That's called double jeopardy. You already died when Jesus died. You don't have to die again. Sickness died when Jesus died. You don't have to die again. You don't have to be sick again. Sickness may hit your body, but it's not permitted to stay there. You don't have to be poor no more. You say, well, how am I going to figure it out? It's not for you to figure it out. That's what the mind does. But the heart knows, no, God supplies all of my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And how do you know that's going to happen? Well, one of the things that I do is I tithe and I give offering. And when you tithe and you give offering, you trust God. You're not walking in fear. You're walking in faith. You trust God that if I give you a tenth, I don't, if you give him 20, if you give God 50, you'll never beat God in giving. God will always be bigger than you when it comes to giving. He said, look at my son, look at my daughter. And God know that you trust him, so he will pour, open up the winds of heaven and pour out a blessing that you will not have. And no, none of us are there yet. We're getting there, but we're not there yet. So God begins to open up things. Why? Because we're not walking in our own righteousness. We have the life of Jesus on us. We don't walk the course of this world. We're clothed in his righteousness. So I don't have to be shamed anymore. I don't have to walk in guilt anymore. I don't have to hide my face because my hair is all short. You know, a um, friend of mine, well, y'all know Prophet Dwayne. Well, Prophet Dwayne at one particular time used to wear a toupee. And a prophet came to town and he said, why are you hiding yourself from God? He said, stop that. And nobody knew what he meant. Next week, 
Prophet Dwayne showed up and he was bald head. <laughs> <laughs> he had the toupee removed and he said, I like who I am. You know? How many of you know that's a good thing? For us to like who we are, to walk in the presence of the Almighty God and be happy with who we are. Not trying to be like everybody else, but just like.